everyone welcome back to my channel happy monday i hope everybody had a great weekend um uh, today i have a dreamer designs unboxing for you all so i dreamer designs was having a sale i want to say it was like buy one get one half off or something and i had noticed that one of my wish list kits was back in stock so decided to take a look and one of the new releases had caught my eye so here we are i have two kits to share with you now i personally this is just me personally i know others work on these year round i definitely find myself gravitated towards his art curtis Ar curtis reykovich's artwork it's a mouthful uh in the fall and you know sometimes early winter depending on the image to me his artwork is just a little spooky and if I had had this kit that's on top here, I definitely would have worked on it this Halloween. Um, but I worked on a different one in September, which is fine. But this one was on my wish list for quite a while. So I thought picking up two Curtises would be perfect. I could have like a little spooky-ish type of unboxing right around Halloween. So here we are. Um, I have two kits to share with you. Uh, like I mentioned, one of them was a wish list item and one of them was a new release. And let's get into it. Now, I have only unboxed one of the newer versions of Dreamer Designs kits. So I will show you like what's in the toolkit and some of the changes that they've made. But um, for the most part, it'll just be like my regular unboxing where we just kind of breeze through that stuff and talk about what we actually care about, which is the kit. <laughs> so um, as far as the diamond paintings themselves, you can see I do have a box here to hold down the ends. This has not changed for me. I do find that Dreamer Designs kits do not lay flat as quickly as some other brands. However, they did change the canvas a little bit. So they had more of like a traditional like scratchy type of canvas. Now it's that like short lint, so it's soft on the back, but to me the front still feels the same as their older kits. Um, but I just feel like they don't lay as flat as quickly. So that's why I have the box down here, just helping us a little bit. Um, they do have a different toolkit now with their newer um, version. I will say their version, this version has probably been out for close to a year, if not a year at this point. So I don't know that you will get any of the older ones, but they do list on their website like new version. So just something to keep in mind. Well, let's take a quick look at the toolkit that they offer now, and then we will get into the kits themselves. I'm only gonna look at one of the toolkits because they are more or less the same. So we have some baggies. We have two of these branded purple wax pots. We have some branded Dreamer Designs. Sorry about the lighting. I hope it's not too dark, but the overhead light makes too much of a glare on the kit. So that's why I have the overhead light turned off. We have two pens. So we have your traditional brass tip and then we have the plastic one, which people like to use for a B placement. We have two squishies that are purple. We have a straightener and a three placer. It kind of blows my mind that Dreamer Designs is still offering these thicker uh, placement placers here. I think it's long past time where they upgraded to the thin white placers, but that's just personal preference. And then this tray is obviously much larger and it now comes with a divider, which I don't personally use, but you can have like two colors going at the same time if you trust this type of design. Okay, so that is the toolkit. You still get the nice little, it's actually larger now, the bag that the toolkit comes in. And I have to say, probably one of my favorite things about their change is they now offer a full-size sticker sheet. If you have purchased from Dreamer Designs in the past, it used to just be like one long, thin strip that you would have to like cut into labels. And then they changed it to make them pre-cut, but they were still that really long piece. So I do like having the sticker sheet now. 
this kit has 68 colors. Um, it looks like we have five ABs. It is a 60 by 80, which seems to be the standard for these Curtis Reykjavik images, as long as, or as well as a lot of their images just seem to be 60 by 80, which I don't mind as long as it renders well. Uh, and this one is a round, which is excellent. <laughs> I am a big fan of Dreamer Designs round drills. I love them. I actually, I actually do love them. They are some of my favorite round drills to work with. We'll talk about their squares in a second. <laughs> um, okay, so we have 68 colors with five ABs. One of my favorite, 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 favorite things that Dreamer Designs does is they put all of their ABs. So they, let me rephrase that. Your drills come to you in numerical order by the legend. So one through 68 are in here. Other companies organize it by DMC, which is also very helpful. But for someone like me who likes to film and show the ABs, they're always at the end and I don't have to go digging through the package to find the ABs. So it's really just like a small percentage of people that that's helpful for, but I do like that they package their drills one through whatever versus in DMC order. So we obviously have quite a dark color palette, lots of blues, we have black, um, probably some like grays and stuff in here. Um, I do not like to take the drills out because I can never get them back, which means they don't fit in the canvas <laughs> or in the box, I guess I should say. So that's our color palette. Let's talk about our 80s. So we have, let me move this light just a little bit. We have AB08, AB772, which is a really pretty green, uh, AB996, 3823, and 3843. So those are our five ABs. I did, as I was laying this kit out, I did uh, make note of where the ABs go for each one. So the first one here is AB08, which is probably, if I had to guess, DMC 3865 would be my, my guess. Uh, I found this in her face, just kind of in the lower parts. It seems like Dreamer Designs has stepped away from really making the whole face like a bunch of ABs, which is nice. I don't particularly mind that if it suits the image, um, but they seem to have kind of scaled back a little bit on what ABs they're putting in the face. Um, AB772 is this really pretty light green. And I found that throughout her hair. AB996, I think we're all probably familiar with. And I found that kind of in the shadow under her eye here, you can see her eyelashes and then there's like some lines there. I found it there as well as the bottom parts of her hair. Uh, 3823. Kind of comes off as like a gold, which is really pretty. Uh, I found that one in her hair again. Uh, also in her moon pendant right here. And I think I saw some in the cat's eyes as well. And then 3843 is this blue AB. And I found that in her eyeshadow. I always love Curtis Reykjavich's like eyelashes and the eye makeup. I think it's so pretty. Um, I also found some in this like shadow under the hat area by her bangs. And then also in her forehead markings. So she has like, I think it's supposed to be a moon. I'm not very familiar. I, I don't know. I just really liked the image. And then I think this is a star. So I found some in her, her markings there. Now, one thing I will say with Dreamer Designs is they often... I don't want to say they overdo it with ABs, but they tend to do a lot of ABs in their images, which is fine. But <laughs> sometimes their placement 
is iffy. However, I will say, obviously I won't know for sure until I lay everything down. It seems like they're kind of taking a step back from ABs, which probably sounds not like the right call, but I think at times it is. Like, I think this is a great amount of ABs. We have five, we have a good amount in each bag, I think will look nice to where they have placed it. Uh, and I'm very much looking forward to seeing how this kit turns out. I think this one could definitely rival Salem, which I did last year, this time of year, and I loved her. I get the same vibes from this this character, this kit here. So I very much am looking forward to working on it. Probably will be at the top of my list for next Halloween. I have not started planning my kits for next year. <laughs> you guys know I like to plan ahead, but... Um, this one is like just sitting in my brain like, oh, maybe next Halloween I'll want to work on this one. So again, this is uh, Indigo. Is it Indigo? Yes, Indigo by the artist Curtis Reykjavich. 60 by 80 round drill. Absolutely love, 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 love that it's a round kit. We don't get a lot of Curtis's, image, Curtis's images in round. So whenever I see one, I'm like, oh, I need it. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's the first one. See, look how much that box helped to lay this down just a little bit flatter. Okay, and then this is the new release that I mentioned. This is called Moonlight Stroll. Moonlight or Moonlit? Moonlight Stroll. I know. <laughs> that was a little embarrassing. Ignore it. Okay, <laughs> Moonlight Stroll. This is, again, another Curtis. Obviously, it's a 60 by 80. This one is a square, which I have quite a few of Curtis's images in square drills from Dream Designs, obviously, and it's, it's not my favorite. Their squares are not my favorite. However, I have not tried their square drills since they have their new version. So could things have gotten better? Yes. And I feel like I need to work on the newer kit with the squares before I say I don't like Dreamy Design squares. Um, I <laughs> It won't be this one, but I do have another kit that's in their newer version um, that I'm thinking about working at the end of the working on at the end of the year. So I just feel like I need to try the newer version before I sit here and tell you I don't like their square drills. So that's where that's coming from. Now this kit has 68 colors with seven ABs in this one, which is a little bit crazy. Um, here is the image. I just thought she was so cool. Now, somebody please tell me. I know that this existed in like the 80s, early 90s. I was born in 1990, but I, I'm i fairly certain I remember my sister having one of these. What is What are these called? What is the reference? A lot of Curtis's image, images have like pop culture references, which I love, but I cannot figure this out. I feel like I know what it is, but the name of it is just not coming to me. So if you know what they're called, please put me out of my misery and leave it in the comments down below because I don't even know like how to, to Google search it because I don't know what it is. So uh, if you know, let me know. But I thought the image as a whole was just really fun. I love her hair. I love her transparent skirt. It's just giving me all the vibes and I do really, really like it. Okay, so uh, I'm not gonna show you the toolkit for this one because it is the same as the last one. We have two bags of drills. Here's the first one. You can see we have some really fun pops of color, orange, pink, see some green, maybe some purple in there. Here is bag two, which is really all the more darker colors. We have grays. I see some like pinks down in there. We have obviously 310. So fun colors in this one. And like I mentioned, we have seven ABs. So let's go over those. The first one is AB07, which is yellow. I love yellow ABs, so I'm excited to see that. We have AB08, which is their white. We have two bags. AB37, AB603, AB605, 
AB 742 and 963. Let's talk about placement. So for the yellow, which is AB 07, I found that one in, she has a little star clip up here, as well as this like hair piece charm thing. I found some in there. Uh, as well as in the cat. So there's some little peaks of yellow in his ears as well as uh, on the bow. If you guys can, I don't know if you can see that or not. We have two bags of the white AB and this, as I'm sure you can imagine, is all throughout her hair. I will say that I love how Dreamer Designs renders uh, Curtis Reykjavich's paintings, the hair in his paintings. His, the hair is so fun and just kind of out there. And I do really like how they tend to render the hair. I think it turns out quite nice. Um, so I found that all throughout her hair. There's also a few in her face, kind of in these lighter areas at the bottom. And I also found some in the cat's face. Next up we have AB37, which is the pale yellow. Uh, I found that on the bottom part of her glasses here, as well as some in her little hair piece. We have AB603. I found that in her dress. Uh, there's also some in the cat's bow. Uh, 605 is, oops, sorry, is a light pink. And she has like, I can't tell if she has gloves on or if it's just like the shading, but she does have like bracelets on both sides that are connected with a chain. Uh, I don't, I, I think it's just a style choice. <laughs> I don't know uh, anything else about that, but I found that in uh, the chain area, as well as some in the lighter parts of her dress. AB 742. This is one of my favorite ABs just because it comes off like really neon once you get it into the kits. Like the 740, I think it's 741, 742, like that little group there. They're really fun ABs to work with. Uh, I found that in her, again, the bottom part of the glasses here, as well as some in her little star hair clip. I don't think I saw any in the dress, but I I might be mistaken, but I don't think I saw any there. And then our final AB is 963, which is this light pink. And again, I found that in her bracelet chain, I'm gonna call it, <laughs> and then some also in her dress. So that is Moonlight Stroll really uh really like this one I thought it was just so fun with the bright colors uh, don't have a time frame to work on this one um it was just pretty and I liked it and I wanted it so I got it <laughs> so there is Moonlight Stroll and Indigo that is totally off center which I know nobody's surprised by because my videos are always off center so we do our best <laughs> uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's uh, Curtis Reykjavich unboxing. Uh, I am very excited to let you guys know that I will have a bonus video this week. So tomorrow is Tuesday, it's Halloween. I don't normally upload on a Tuesday, but I wanted to do like some Halloween tag questions and stuff with you guys. So I hope that you will stop back over tomorrow on my not usually scheduled video day um, to have a little Halloween celebration with me and we will hit up my first project for November. So I hope to see you guys there. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.